Uh, Jared, uh, you know, how did uh, you know? It looked like you all had a couple three and outs to get started before you got moving. Uh, you know, what were some of the things going on with the offense early? Yeah, um, you know, obviously we want to come out and start fast every single game and finish the entire game and play complimentary football, both offense and defense. Um, and that was something that we didn't do off start. Um, you know, we didn't get out there. We didn't start fast. Like we said, I think we had two or three um, quick three and outs, um, which really hurts our defense, puts them back on the field real quick. Um, and, you know, that's something that we just got to be better as as an offense. On that intentional grounding call, um, you know, what was your vantage point? Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't know you'd get an intentional grounding when your arm gets hit. Um, and, you know, I was just trying to get outside the pocket. Obviously, it was a keeper. Um, you know, my first read wasn't there. I felt the defender on me. Um, try to extend it maybe a tick second too longer than what I should have. Um, but, yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, I thought my arm was hit, I know. Um, and, you know, the ref made the call. And at the end of the day, I mean, we have to go with what the ref's saying. we got to play the next play. Did he, did he say you didn't get hit or did they explain anything to you? Yeah, no, I don't know what that conversation was. You know, I know I was in his ear um, a good amount. And, you know, I'm, all, I'm pretty sure all the guys were. Um, like I said, at the end of the day, they make the call and we have to live with it. How would you assess your progress from your first start to your second? Yeah, I think, you know, last week after the game, we talked about um, being subtle in the pocket and, and letting things come to you. And I felt like today and all throughout this past week of practice, that's what I did pretty well. Um, just being comfortable in there, you know, letting, trusting the guys up front to do their job, which they did. Um, and trusting the guys on the outside to win and what they did. Um, so really just settling in, and which I thought I did well. Um, like I said, you know, I wish we could settle in from, you know, as soon as the ball's kicked off. Um, and, and, you know, that's something that we'll continue to work on to continue to uh, keep being fast off the start. Um, but, you know, as the game went on, obviously things got more comfortable, and, uh, you know, I just played the game. Where did you, walk me through the, I know we talked a little bit about this, where did your arm get <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was hit when I threw, uh, right when I let the ball go. Um, I mean, yeah, there's not much to it. Like I said, I try to extend it maybe a tick second longer than what I should have. Um, I could have threw it away a tick second earlier. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, you know, a ref makes a call and we got to live with it. Was it tough for you in the red zone? Not necessarily you, but for the team itself. Uh, you got there quite a few times, but never could punch it. Yeah, situational football. You know, at the end of the day, we look at, you know, a couple of things. You know, when we go back and look at games, that's, you know, red zone, third down, and, and turnovers, uh, making sure that we win all three of those things. And obviously, situational football wasn't our best today. Um, and, you know, that's something that we'll look at and grow and continue to uh, keep getting better at. It seems like the, this is the second straight game where it's been a slow start for you guys. What, is that still you learning? Like, what, what do you see that's going on there that maybe is affecting you in the first couple of rounds? Yeah, um, you know, it's just going out there, starting whether, you know, you don't know how the field, the flow of the game is or whatever it may be, um, you know, I'll take part in that. And, you know, that's my job to get the guys going and make sure everyone's good and juiced up, ready to go. Um, and that we can just continue to flow and get that first, first down. Um, you know, it's tough when you start the game. You don't get that first, first down. You don't get the rhythm of the game. Um, and, you know, that's obviously huge for an offense is to stay in rhythm, um, keep pushing the ball forward, keep going downfield. Um, and that's something we struggled to do early. One more time. What do you attribute that to? Uh, I mean, that's just our, our, you know, I would call it friendship, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, you know, just when we put in, you know, just the, the camaraderie that we have, um, you know, like I said earlier in the week, you know, he's like a brother to me. Um, and, and, you know, it just kind of continues out there onto the field. One hundred percent. You know, I'm not saying I was going to sit back there and just wait, 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 wait. Um, but, you know, I was really going to get hit before I, you know, decided to push up in the pocket. And like I said, it was trusting the guys up front to do their job and trusting the guys on the outside um, to win their routes in, which everyone did, um, which allowed me to, to give time to stand back there comfortably and, uh, you know, deliver a ball. Was it cold a factor? Sorry. No, 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 no. Was it cold a factor? No, nah, the cold the cold wasn't really a factor. Um, you know, once you get out there and the energy's going, um, I know it's tough for people in the stands to hear and say that cold isn't a factor. Um, but you know, when you're when you're out there and your energy's going and, and the juices are flowing, and, and you know you're just doing physical activity, um, you don't really feel the environments. If you answered this already, I'm sorry, uh, but just the whole fact of the loss and knowing what your division is like, how tough is this loss to take? I mean, knowing two games left in the season. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. Um, you know, it's tough if you, you know, lost the first one or if it's tough if you lost the last one. You know, a loss is a loss at the end of the day. Um, that's not something we came here to do. 
Um, that's not something we want to do. And obviously, you know, now it's just about finishing. Um, how can we finish out this season uh, over these next two games? How can we continue to get better for these next two games? Um, and, you know, I think, you know, guys are ready to get back to work and, and just move to next week. Has uh, what the mindset of the team having been eliminated from the playoffs? I know uh, that, was, uh, that happened today. Yeah, like I said, um, just finish. Um, you know, no matter what our position is in the division, the playoffs, you know, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Just finish. Um, and, and, you know, I think that goes, you got to take that day by day and take it week by week. Um, finish every single day of practice and, you know, as hard as you can go um, to continue to keep working, keep continuing to get better. Um, and then when it comes on Saturday, Sunday, whatever it may be, finish the game. Um, you know, finish all four quarters. It doesn't matter what it has to be. Um, and, and then obviously finish the season. Um, you know, we, we've been on a bumpy road up and down this entire year. Um, we wanted to get over that hump today. Obviously, we did it. Um, so now it's just about going to get the next one.